Hello friends, welcome back to another vlog. I think you can tell just from this lighting that it is a pretty dull day outside today. I don't mind the rain. It's just like the really gray days in the summer. I think this is why so many of us like the autumn. You kind of get what you're expecting. I don't mind rain. I don't even mind really a gray day. I just, it's July, you know, just be July. Anyway, also by my surroundings, you may be able to tell, I'm having a bit of a reset moment. Um, if you watched the last vlog, I had a lost weekend, an accidental lost weekend. Um, after, if you've been watching the previous vlogs, quite a few weeks of feeling just really under the weather. And I think part of that lost weekend was like, I was already feeling so sensitive, like stomach wise. And alcohol is never going to mix with that. And even now, like three, four days later, I just feel rubbish. And I kind of just felt like, right, we need a bit of a reset. Let's do a load of laundry. Let's have a bit of a clean. I am surrounded by candles, let me show you, because it's like a little bit out of control. Um, this is the prep for autumn. It's just never ending candles. Um, I'm in the midst of ordering more supplies right now. Uh, and I was sitting there thinking, I just don't know what I want to eat. You know, like when you feel really rubbish and I just haven't been able to fancy anything. I bought myself some soup this morning on the way back from the school run and I was like, I don't even want that. I had some porridge and I'm just like, I need to eat something, but I can't quite. And then all of a sudden, a little spark of craving came to me and I have ordered myself possibly the most bougie just eat ever, just for me in the middle of the day, Wagamamas. We got a Wagamamas open real close to us um, recently and a few weeks ago at work, someone was like, I'm going to order Wagamamas for lunch. Does anybody else want it? Yes, that's the most expensive lunch that I've ever had while I was at work. Um, but it was so delicious and it traveled so well. In which, by which I mean like it looked great when it arrived and it was so tasty and I don't know something just came to me and I thought Wagamama's so if it arrives because sometimes people cannot find our house um I will hopefully be able to share with you how well it traveled and tell you that it was actually the best thing ever not just a crazy expensive lunch also if you remember how long ago we got this new washing machine and I was so excited about it I haven't done any washing myself. Lee does like um, his washing and Milo's washing, which people are like perplexed by. But he does ironing for himself. He like irons his work stuff. I don't iron anything for myself. So other than bedding, which is, this is what, why it came to me, I haven't done any of my own washing. I just, when I'm not feeling well, physically or mentally, um, a lot of these things kind of fall by the wayside and that's been recently I've just been not really taking care of myself so we're having a reset I thought it warranted a vlog because what doesn't um but mostly <laughs> mostly I want to show you the Wagamama if it arrives nicely because when I got that at work I was so impressed um I don't know also where are my pillows where are the pillowcases did I even put them in the washing machine or are they still in there? Take a look at Manny the Little Prince. This is the most pampered pooch, aren't you? And I'm in the corner editing. It's gonna be so delicious. Let me show you. First of all, it is so hot still. Oh, look how good that looks. Look how good that looks. That has been in a car, like, what arrives this nicely? This could not hit the spot more. This is exactly what I needed. I wish that on Sunday when I was like really delicate, I'd remember that this existed because this is like, it's like chicken soup for the soul is what it is. It's so delicious, but it's like just the right amount of salty, but like kind of bland enough, just the noodles some spring onions, some ginger and chicken. This is exactly the right food for when you're feeling under the weather. This is gonna seem OTT, but I ate that food an hour ago and I honestly feel like a new woman. I felt so rubbish for weeks and then this weekend, extra rubbish for my own fault. Um, I feel so much better. 
Wagamamas to the rescue. Uh, also, I was editing. I've just edited a couple of videos and I've been watching um, Feud on... Is it on Disney? It's an FX thing. You know, Ryan Murphy, who does like the American Harm... Uh, harm? It was a mix of American Horror Story and American Crime Story. He's done a series called Feud and it's like true stories um, of like epic feuds. And I'm on the second season, which is Truman Capote and the Swans. It's really, really good. It's really great. Uh, anyway, I'm watching that. Quite enjoying it. Manny was sitting on the sofa and he decided that he wanted to come and sit with me. So this is where Manny went. Unfortunately, I need to go and get Milo now. So I'm going to have to move him and I feel pretty bad about it because I think he's pretty asleep. Now granted, it was aided by melatonin, but that was also the best sleep I've had in weeks. Weeks and weeks. You know when you feel really bloated and like you've got really bad indigestion and it's just hard to get comfortable at night? That is how I felt for ages. Also, let's just do a little bit of health market research here for my own personal benefit. Because I was talking about this in another video. Um, while well, I was getting ready uh, to do a declutter, I'm, I'm on the declutter train. I'm two in now. I've done all the base, foundation, concealer, primers, setting sprays, powders, all of that stuff. And then yesterday I got into... Um, blush, bronzer, highlight, all the cream stuff. I really am, um, I'm on a roll now, I feel like. I really feel like I'm kind of getting somewhere. And I, I, it's very visually overwhelming because everything is everywhere, but I really feel like I'm getting somewhere. Um, but I said in this vlog, or in this like, get ready with me, uh, that Lee wanted me to go to the doctor. So I've not been feeling very well. And as you know, if you've followed me for any amount of time, my experience of going to the doctor is just not the same as his. I My experience is not, and you will come away feeling great. I tend to not come away from the doctor feeling better than when I went in. Um, but I am starting to think maybe it's time. And I was just doing a little bit of Googling yesterday, which I don't tend to do with symptoms. But I thought, let me just see if a few of these things are connected. And they were, but then that tends to be the case. If, you, if you're kind of looking for it, you will find that... Um, like self-confirmation, you know, Conf confirmation bias, whatever it is. Um, you'll find the confirmation of the thing that you're looking for if you're looking for it. Um, so I kind of take those things with a grain of salt. But my entire life, I have had this thing where, and I just thought it was kind of normal, and I think maybe it's not. Um, if I drink, and like usually if I'm really hungry or really thirsty and I haven't had anything for a while, and I take a drink of water, it feels like it goes down my throat so slow. Oh, this hair's coming off this brush that are gonna really bother me. You know when you can just like feel? I don't know if they're even, yeah, they are. I was gonna say, I don't even know if they're coming off the brush, but they are. Damn it, that is one of my favorite brushes. And you know, in, in amidst all of this declutter, maybe I need to do brushes. Oh, hadn't even considered. I've had this forever. I probably haven't taken care of it. You can see where it's like, can you see where there's all the sticky up bits? Um, I've had that forever. It was sent to me from it cosmetics, but I would purchase another one of those. I loved it. Um, anyway, I had this thing where I'll swallow a drink of water and it goes down my throat so slow. You know, like when you get a bit of food stuck in your, in your not your throat, but like your esophagus, I guess. Um, and it feels like really, really slow and it's like heartburny. That's how I feel when I drink water. That's not normal, is it? It's probably not normal. It's probably not. Like, it gave, I get the feeling of like indigestion, even from liquid. Um, always almost as if like my, as if like my esophagus is too small. And I don't know if this is all the same thing because it all, you know, it's all like your throat. Also, the dog just barked because usually in the morning me and him are sitting together and he's not recognized that it's Wednesday and I need to get ready for work um but I can't have the heat on in the car because I feel like I'm being gassed I feel like my nose and my throat aren't <laughs> this sounds so stupid I feel like my nose and my throat aren't large enough to take in hot air there I said it that's what I feel like that's all, like, I have always, always, always felt like this. This is not new. So it's not like, oh, this is a symptom of something terrible, unless I've had a lifelong illness that I've not known about. Um, 
but you know there are just things that you ignore because well it can't you know that's just normal because it's normal to you and then when you tell people about it because why would you tell someone about that you don't tell people about like normal body like I'm so itchy I could scratch my skin off and you wouldn't know that unless you were my husband telling me to stop scratching <laughs> things like that like I, I've always 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 been incredibly incredibly itchy um and what that is I don't know but that's something that again if that happened out of nowhere if the itchiness that I feel was like oh wow this is new maybe I'd be worried but because it's been forever you don't think of it as a symptom of something but it still could be I don't know I'm just spitballing but does anybody else get like chest pains when they drink water sometimes not every time but just sometimes it's like wow that it's like indigestion. What is that all about? I need to start writing this stuff down because if I do actually go to the doctor, I need to go armed with, listen, I don't think this is normal. I don't think this is normal. I don't know. I do feel more confident going to the doctor about physical pains though. I do think that you get further than you do when it's like, oh, you're not feeling very well, you know? I will at some point get into the um, the experience that I had uh, with the private assessment because that was, I mean, I don't know, it wasn't great. It wasn't like my favourite doctor appointment ever, but it was at least like you felt like, you felt like that person was listening, you know. Um, but that's for another time. Manny is upset with me because I've not gone to sit with him. I've got to go to work today, Manny. I'm sorry. He was just standing in the doorway of the living room for ages like, are you coming? It looks, he looks quite nice today. It's quite chilly actually. And when I was getting ready this morning and looking through my uh, wardrobe, I found various things that I bought for the summer, mostly for New York, but like thinking like this summer, this is what I'll wear. And it's been so cold and rainy. I haven't worn any of it. Okay, I was gonna tell you, I was in, I'm in the car. The lighting is terrible, forgive me. I was gonna tell you a story about why I think I'm living in a simulation. And then I had full coughing attack for no reason at all. And I feel like that's the people who are running the simulation trying to stop me from telling you this story. I really do, but for the past few months, there's been this, I wanna say mother and daughter, oh, it's happening again. <clears throat> this mother and daughter, but it's just like a woman and a child. Do I see every single day that I walk, that I walk, that I drive down there every single day, whether it be a weekend, a weekday, Every single day, and it is, like, sometimes I'm 10 minutes early, 10 minutes late. I always see them. Always. So it's not like only if I happen to be around this time. I always see them. Every single time I drive down this place. And the woman wears the same clothes, I now realise. And the girl wears the same clothes. The reason I originally recognised it is the girl wears a full rainbow top to bottom, like stripes. Top to bottom stripes in rainbow. And initially I was like... I totally get that. I know there's some kids that like to wear the same thing every day. Like, that's cute. I, I really like the little outfit she wears. Um, and then I realised that the mom is also wearing the same thing. The exact same thing. Every single day. Like, it's got a logo on it. I, are we living in a simulation? Oh, good morning. Am I? I think I need to be a little higher. Um, it is Thursday which famously is the day that I don't have to do the school run. Where? Where's the, where's the patches that were in this? I know I had some. Literally just saw them. I found them, I found them, right. I'm replacing my disheveled melatonin patch from last night. I actually supplemented a bit that with some melatonin gummies because just been sleeping horribly. Hop on my wake up patch. I think of the two of these, the kind patches, I think the wake up patch works better than the melatonin one. But again. Oh, I'm so tired. Right. I've got about 45 minutes before I've got to start work. And um, still, my office is an absolute dump because I've organised all my stuff into what I'm, what I'm wanting to kind of like organise away and declutter. Uh, so I've just got kind of like boxes and stuff everywhere. Um, I really, really want to go through the lipsticks because I've got a really cute lipstick holder thing for this drawer. 
but that's a big job and I don't think I can do it before work. What I can do is go through this drawer of things. So I think I'm going to try and film that before, before I start work. That's an ideal situation. Um, just got get started on this tiny little can of Coke. And I have no idea why Lee bought this. Lee buys the weirdest things. <laughs> I always tell the story of... <laughs> When we, I don't know if we were when we were first together or we were probably together a few years, but like once you've been together for like, I don't know, whatever, it's been 15 years, the early days, it's, it all kind of melts into one, doesn't it? Um, early days, I asked him to get me a pan and he bought me a milk pan. If I ask him to get me something, he will get me the cheapest version of that thing. I asked him to get me some grapes. He got me like a handful of grapes, like not even a full one of grapes. Like, if I said I need some onions, he'd buy me, like, an onion in a bag. I've come to realise I need to be specific. Um, but this really tickled me. Because that won't be the reason that he bought these. Because I didn't even ask for Coke. But it kind of, like... It was just a little reminder of the... Um, of the, <laughs> of the funny things he used to do. I don't know. It's, it's funny. Um, but he also is very much of the opinion that if you've not eaten something... You know, like, if you've got, like chocolate or something if you're not eating it straight away you don't want it so I think he thinks we should only have the food in the house that we're going to consume that day I don't know I don't know uh, right I'm gonna go and film this I don't think I can be bothered to do my hair and my makeup and stuff so if you watch that video <laughs> I'm gonna try not to yawn throughout it but if you watch that video I apologize for my appearance but I'm just sitting at a desk for the rest of the day working and I don't want to sit here with a full face of makeup on because I think my skin could do without it. I'm over this muggy weather now. I really am. It's almost lunchtime. And I might have ordered the thing again. Also, this t-shirt that I bought from... Um, ooh, 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 with the microphone. Um, this t-shirt I bought from Tesco last week is so soft. Their loungewear is so nice. Um, I'm obsessed with their, like, sleep dresses. If anyone can recommend one, because I went back to see... I think within the last vlog I went back to see whether or not I could get another one of that exact same dress. It's just like a really soft, like, jersey material. Um, long dress, like a strappy long dress with a slip, which means it's, like, easy to move in. Um, but it's not, like, see-through. I don't really want, like, a, a dress to wear. It needs to be kind of like a thick enough jersey that you don't need to wear anything underneath it when you're walking around the house. It's not going to be see-through. Um, but kind of baggy so difficult to define exactly what I'm looking for and that's why I wanted to go back and get another one because it's just so so perfect um but yeah I'm like I think I'm I'm converted to Tesco loungewear it's just super comfortable anyway um I'm about to take my lunch break and I thought I would probably finish up this vlog because then I'll finish up this vlog and then I'll um get this edited I did do the eyes declutter before work which just feels like another I'm like so close to this being finished now I've got two more to do and then I feel like I can have a proper overhaul of this room and this I don't know it's all part of the like I feel like I need a reset um usually September is like a second new year for me so part of it at the moment is I'm working towards our big autumn in August relaunch for the website and like all of our autumn scents for the candles are going to come out in August and because my part of the work is all like website social media candles um and Karen does all of the fulfillment it's a lot kind of my part of the work is not steady it's like it's like is a terrible verbal tick but it is like over a couple of months, I'll be really, really heavily making stuff. And then it all goes to Karen. Like I've got 200 candles to box and ship off to Karen. And um, then I need to finish off all the photography, finish off all the website. But then when it goes live, I get to take a break. And that's when Karen like goes into overdrive and has to package all of these parcels. Um, so it's a lot at the moment, but I'm kind of working towards August being a little bit of a break because that's when we'll launch. I'll have done all of the work in the back end ahead of time and we'll take a little bit of a break. And then I remembered, I still haven't booked my hotel for Hong Kong. 
which I really need to do. I go in September, it's going to go in like pretty much two months time and I have not even narrowed it down. If anyone could recommend anywhere, because I really need to book somewhere. <coughs> This is not necessary at all. Also, the worst time of year for me for ordering in is school holidays. Because I'll be like working or doing something. Maz like, what's dinner? I'm like, oh, I'll order Greg's or I'll, I'll do whatever. And that starts next week. So this is not a good time for me to develop a Wagamama's habit. Even a little bit. I also ordered a really expensive coat. Listen, it's been a hard week. It's been a hard few weeks. I deserve this. I don't deserve this. I definitely don't need it. I mean, I do deserve it. But it's going to be delicious. Oh, and again, it just travels so well. It smells amazing. Okay. I'll see you in the next one.